Hi, I'm Andrew Gillis from Sepro Mineral Systems. This video is a short excerpt from a longer video series about gold recovery for milling circuits. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, now let's have a look at gold recovery from flotation circuits. So the most common installation is here in the primary milling circuit. And the best way to describe the benefit here or what it's doing economically in the circuit is let's say you have a large gold particle. And just for example, let's say you're lucky and you've got you know, particles that are greater than 500 microns uh, in at least one dimension here. These are going to be, because of the high density, high specific gravity of gold, these are going to be very likely to sink in a flotation cell. And, you know, they would require a heroic amount of flotation effort to get this to the top of the cell among, you know, smaller mineral particles. And even, you know, if a flotation cell is not operating completely effectively, or let's just say, you know, it find this particle finds itself you know, near the wall of the flotation cell or, or somewhere where the kinetics aren't as good. You know, this doesn't necessarily need to be one. It doesn't necessarily need to be 500 micron. This could be much smaller than this. Um, and the other, other argument here is it doesn't take many large particles to account for a significant amount of the gold value. Um, that you might be seeing, uh, in free gold incoming to the circuit. So as we mentioned before, you know, you've got the circulating load building up. So one is you want to get these out of the circulating load, but two is, you know, eventually if they do make it over uh, into the flotation circuit, you want to make sure you want to make sure that they're not making it to the flotation circuit so that you don't have this kind of heavy sinking effect. Um, you know, and you can talk to a lot of operators and they'll tell you that, you know, when you're, if you've got a meaningful amount of free gold and you're shoveling out a flotation cell, um, you know, for periodic maintenance or whatever, this is going to be some pretty high value material. So that's why uh, the benefit is, there's a strong benefit in the primary milling circuit and more so, you know, as we saw earlier in this paper, um, more of a benefit than in a cyanidation plant. Because if you have a cyanidation plant, you know, the cyanide is going to progressively dissolve these larger particles, maybe it doesn't get all the way there and, and you lose a little bit of gold, but that's a, you know, that's a result to a degree of recovery. Whereas in a flotation cell, this is going to be very binary. I mean, if this thing sinks, uh, you recover zero of it as opposed to an assignation plant where, you know, maybe you've recovered 50 or 70% of the particle before it moves out of the, um, leach train. Uh, but here you're, you're losing the entire particle. So that's why there's a stronger economic benefit to having uh, gravity recovery in a flotation plant and the best places right away ahead of the uh, flotation cells in the primary milling circuit. Moving on to the regrind circuit. Here it's a, it's a similar effect on a smaller scale where, you know, you're liberating, you know, you've got a particle that's probably locked. It's got some mineral in it some target mineral in it, and it's got a free gold component. This then gets broken apart. And you've got the same situation where in the regrind mill, uh, because the cut size is finer, this, this particle is going to be preferentially retained in the circuit. Um, and this is an easy thing to, to check. Um, you're just looking at the gold grade differential between the recirculating load and the cyclone overflow. And if you're seeing an upgrade there, then it does mean that there's a good opportunity to recover these free gold particles that are being liberated. And, you know, you probably have a similar effect here, but on a smaller scale where, you know, the flotation chemistry is different. You're trying to be more selective. Um, so smaller particles in the regrind flotation circuit are, you know, more likely to sink to the bottom. And you also have a component of this uh, other effect scalping gold from concentrate products where if let's just say you're in a polymetallic mill and you know, you're producing a letter zinc con and you're not going to get paid at all for the gold particles that are in that concentrate, uh, you're going to want to pull those out to try to realize some value from it. So this, this speaks to getting it out in the regrind circuit. And this is just, I'd say more of an extreme case where if they're, 
isn't a regrind application, like maybe there's still an opportunity to scalp that gold out if you're not going to get paid for it when um, you're selling the whatever concentrates you're producing. If you found this video interesting, uh, please visit minerals.seprosystems.com to find the extended video series as well as additional shorter clips addressing specific points around gold recovery from milling circuits. Thanks very much for watching.